cut it if I if I tell you any. something nasty. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> we, can, we can cut it. Okay. Okay. So first cr uh, question, Christian. Um, when did you start to collect carnivorous plants, and why? Um, I think I can tell you. Can't tell you the year, but it was when I have been 12 years old. Uh, I was in the nursery, and I found my first uh, Salsinia flower. In a, it was in a green pot, it was a Netherlands plant, collected at, at the location like it was usual at this time. And uh, I got one, and later on I got two or three more and had it in a big box, and this was the beginning. Yeah. How old were you at this time? 12 years old. 12 years old, okay. Yes. And now I'm 47. <laughs> okay. Uh, second question, what is your background? You're a your nurseryman, right? Yes. Yeah. Sure. What kind of studies did you do before? Uh, nothing, then, because when I was beginning I was a schoolboy and uh, it was always clear that I get an, a nursery man from, from the first beginning mm -hmm. and even in the school, the, the schoolboys called me the gardener all the time Already? <laughs> yes, okay. it's in the genes, <laughs> I think <laughs> uh, Another question, uh, how many different carnivorous plants do you think you're ma maintaining here? How many species with or, or hybrids? How many different um, plants? I do not really have an idea. I never counted them up. Yeah. I have a list, but I never counted. Yeah, but hundreds. Sure, hundreds. At least, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, maybe six, seven, eight hundred. Yeah, okay. Even more. I don't know. I counted it in in this house for for some time, but all the species what is in this house is about ten thousand species. Okay. And um, what would be your? No, no, no. Excuse me. Sorry. Two thousand. Two thousand. Two thousand. That's not a lot. And uh, <laughs> what would be your most favorite carnivorous plants right now? Uh, really difficult question, I think, because uh, in in my life as a as a as a collector of plants, I used to to have points of interest. In some year, it was more Nepenthes. Yeah. In the other year, it was more Pinguicola, and so I used this to to collect. As lot I can, uh, as was possible in this year, of this species, and next year, I had another point of, of, of an idea what, what to do. Yeah, okay. And, and a special plant, I don't know. But right now you told me that you really like a Yomphora this year. Yes, sure, yeah. sure. Yeah. This, is, this is the point of interest at, at this year, because I have to, to build up the collection again. Yeah. It was better in the, in the past, but uh, now I will, I will rebuild it again. Okay. Uh, another question about the plants you're growing. What is the most difficult plant to grow for you in your conditions? And what would be your growing tip for that plant mm -hmm. if you manage to, also to grow it? <laughs> also a very difficult question. It's, some Nepenthes are, are really difficult for me, especially the, the most uh, highest uh, plants like Dubia, like in Hermes. And Bilosa? Bilosa, not so, because for my Bilosa I have a good uh, setup, you know it. Yeah, yeah, I know. And um, I think the ultra highland, especially from, from Sumatra, are extremely tricky if you have no cooling. And I think Dubia and Dynamis are for me the, the species with the most question signs. Can you grow Nepenthes Lamii? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Yeah, okay. Um, uh, I know that you used to travel to see carnivorous plants in the wild. Yes, Could sure. you tell us a bit more about this? In what was the country that you prefer? For instance, um, I have been in, in many countries, especially in Europe, and have seen some local uh, carnivorous plants. Sure, everybody does it, and I like very much to go to Malaysia because I like the Asian way of life, yeah. the locations, the people, and I think Asia is is a very good target to travel. Yeah, okay, and um, two other questions and. Um, how do you manage to to deal with your your patient and your life as a family man? <laughs> yes, <laughs> sometimes a bit tricky. <laughs> uh, when I was uh, when I learned to to know my wife, I was a collector. Already, yeah. Yes, and for many years, and I told her when you ever want to marry me, it's only possible with plants, not without, and I will never stop it. And so she agreed. Yes, yeah. more or less. And <laughs> You're lucky man. Yes, mm -hmm. it's, it's working and I'm, I'm at home a long time of, a, of the day. I'm working not so far, it's only two kilometers. Yeah. 
and uh, I see my family and I think we are very good organized. Yeah, okay. And meanwhile we are a little bit of a family business because my wife is working with me, my daughter is working with me. Yeah, so that's family business. You're ins an inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> uh, last question, do you have other projects for your nursery? For, do you plan to expand your collection? Mm, I would like to, but I cannot, yeah. because it is uh, a question of time, of, of time and uh, there's no time left at the moment. Yeah, okay. And uh, projects, maybe you asked me for hybrids, what, what I plan to make. Yeah. Uh, I really like to, to make hybrids of Nepenthes which are growing in the nature. No complex ones, I do not like them. Yeah. But the natural ones I, I, I try to, to recross. Okay. I think it's a good idea. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs>